Hello Divination and welcome to our brand new mini series on how to create a simple and effective portfolio website using Divi. In this mini series we'll be covering everything that you need to know in order for you to create your own portfolio website from scratch. The goal of our mini series is to provide you with tips and techniques to help you enhance your design skills with Divi. So this is the design that we'll be working towards in today's video. As you can see, we have two versions of the about and contact page. Okay, so before we get started designing this page, what we're going to need is a few assets in place. And these are our background image, which has the dimensions of 1920 by 1300 pixels. And we're also going to need some CSS code to customize this page. And the CSS code is linked in the show notes below. All right, so let's dive in and let's build this page. Okay, so I'm here in my WordPress dashboard. So the first thing we need to do here is to go to our contact page. So I'm gonna come here to pages, click on all pages, so we can see the list of pages that we have on our website. So I'm gonna come here to the about and contact and click on edit. Next, we're gonna click on use visual builder. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're going to add a single row and a single column. I'm just going to close this for now and then I'm going to add a background image. Now this background image you can use your image of your own choice but uh, in my case I've already uploaded this image in my library so I'm going to go ahead and click upload and this is the image I'll be using. And the dimensions for this just in case you need them they're going to be 1920 by 1300 pixels. Okay so I'm going to go ahead and click upload an image and now you can see our image has been applied to the background here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add a text module. So I'm going to click on add module. I'm going to click on text. And then what we need to do here is to make sure the text color is set to light because we have a duck background. And then here, this is where you can add your name. Okay, so now that you've added the name, I'm going to go ahead and save. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to add another module. So this time is going to be a divider. And then what we need to do here is to make sure that the color is set to white. So let's just double check and make sure that it's set to white and it is. It's looking good. And here the height needs to be two. And then finally, what we need to do here is to uh, show the divider. So now we have that line showing. So once you're done with that, go ahead and save. Next, we need to add another row. This time it needs to have two columns. And these two columns both are going to house the text. So I'm just going to add the text module. And then here, what we need to do is to, to change the text color to light. And then for now, we're going to add some dummy text in there. So I'm just going to go ahead and paste it. And then I'm going to go ahead and save changes. So since we need another text module here, what I'm just going to do here is to just duplicate this and then drag it over like that. And then I'm going to go back into the settings and then just paste my text. And then once you're done with that, go ahead and save. Now, the next thing we need to do is to add a form. And to do that, we're going to need to add a new row. And we're going to make sure that's a single row. And we need the contact form. So I'm going to click on the contact form module. Okay, so now that we've added our contact form, for the meantime, we're going to go ahead and save the changes. Okay, so now let's go back and start styling all our modules. So let's start off with the first module here. So let's go into the settings. And then we're going to go into the design mode. Make sure the text font is Roboto Light. So we're going to make sure that it's um, all caps and also the size is set to 34. And then finally, on the name, we're going to add some CSS code. Okay, so I'm just going to go to the main element and then paste the CSS code. Okay, so we're done with setting up um, the, name, the name. So we're going to go ahead and save. Now let's go on to the next section. So here we're going to go into the gear icons and make sure that the top padding is set to 20 and then everything else is set to zero like that and then go ahead and save. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and style our contact form and also add some fields. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this gear icon to access the settings. And then here, the first thing we need to do is to set the display capture to no. By default, it's set to yes. Okay, now we need to add the title and the title is just pretty much called booking inquiries. And then it's time to add the form fields. So I'm gonna click on add item. So we're gonna call this project. And uh, in the next field here, which says uh, title input, this is where you can also describe what goes into the form. So uh, you can just do, you can just add whatever you need to add in there. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure that um, this option here, which says full width is set to no, because we need to take half of the width. Okay, so now that we have that in place, let's go ahead and save. Now we need to add one more. Let's call this one budget. Okay, so my description here is budget minimum order $5,000. Okay, and again, we're gonna make sure that make full width is set to no. So now you can see these two fields are sharing the same row, which is exactly what we need. So I'm gonna go ahead and save. Now, um, we would like this message area to be right at the bottom. So in order to do that, we can just come up here and drag it right here to the bottom. Okay, so that's looking good. Now we can see here uh, right at the bottom that this button doesn't match our design. So what we need to do is to go in and make some changes to it. So to do that, we need to go into the design mode, scroll all the way down and click the use custom styles for button. So I'm just gonna activate that and click and uh, make sure it's set to yes. So the first thing we need to do here is to make sure the text size is set to 16. The border width needs to be two pixels. The border radius needs to be one pixel. And then here, the font needs to be open sans, and we need to make sure that it's bold so it really stands out. Now, one little touch that we did here, what we've, that we've done here is to add a camera icon. Now, this just works well because the website that we're designing is to do with photography. So this just adds that extra touch um, of elegance to the design. So here, uh, the camera is selected. So once we're done with that, let's go ahead and save. So now that our form is designed and we're happy with how it looks, it's now time to design the second version. Now, DV 3.0 has a really cool feature right here in the front end editor. We can actually duplicate this section and then make changes to the second version without actually deleting the first one. So I'm gonna go ahead here and show you how to do that. So I'm gonna come here to this duplicate button. And now we have two versions of the, the first of, the, of this design. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to disable this top one. So to disable, all you have to do is to right click on this area here and then click on disable and just make sure that you disable all these three devices. Okay, so that's looking good. We can just click away and then scroll, scroll all the way down here to the second version of the design. And let's start making changes. So the first thing we're gonna do here is to add a new row and we need two equal halves. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and close this for now. So this is now where we're going to drag all our items that we need into each half. So the first thing we're gonna do here is to drag the name and also this content. Okay, so I'm gonna start here by just dragging this text module to the bottom here, like that. And now we're gonna need the title. So we're gonna move that module all the way down here. And then finally, we're gonna need this divider. Okay, so that's looking good. Now we don't need this here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete. And also um, I'm going to delete the second one. Okay, so that's looking good. Next, now we need to make sure that all uh, all these all this information is now here on the second half. So I'm just gonna click and drag, like that. Okay, so there's a few more things that we need to do to make sure that this form looks the way we, we want it to look. So let's start off by adding some CSS code. So I'm gonna go to the module settings here, click on the CSS tab, and make sure that we replace this code because this was carried over from the first design. So we're gonna paste some new CSS code and that's just gonna realign things to make them look a bit neater. 
Okay, so that's looking good. So we're gonna go ahead and save. Now we need to add a new row with one with with one column and then here we're going to add a divider so just to add a bit more space to the bottom of this form or this page we need to make sure that the height is set to 350 okay and then let's go ahead and save the changes so now that we're happy with the design all we have to do now is to go ahead and save and then we're going to exit the Visual Builder. Okay, so this is our final design. So this is the first version that we did. And then if we scroll down, this is the second version. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. We will be producing more and more of these videos. Be sure to subscribe because by subscribing, you will be notified when we produce more videos. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.